<laughs> so you're trying to figure out which platform is right for you to build your first website. Trust me, I get it. There's countless options nowadays and they all have great features, but which one is right for you? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the platform that I use to build every single one of the websites that I make for myself and also for clients. I'm also gonna tell you why I think it would be the best option for you, especially if you've never made a website before. Oh, and did I also mention that it's completely free? This video is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm gonna to post to the channel in a playlist called The Beginner's Guide to Building a Website. In this series, I cover everything that you need to know from having no web design skills or knowledge of building a website to having a professional and complete website customized and ready to go for your business. This website is going to be live and online by the end of this series. In this series, I'll be covering the best platform to use to build any kind of website that you can imagine and also how to get started with it. And again, this is for complete beginners. I'm going to talk to you guys about how to get your own custom domain name and web hosting for your website so that it can be live and completely owned by you. I'm going to cover the most powerful and easy to use web builder that lets you build any kind of website you could possibly want with tons of pre-made templates and features that you can add to your website with just a simple click. I'll cover how to make your website look great on the desktop, mobile, and tablet view so that no matter which device your visitor is viewing your website, it will always look clean and professional. Finally, at the very end, we'll cover next steps like how to secure your website, how to get professional emails, and so much more. So if this sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and follow along with the rest of the series. I'll be putting videos out like this as fast as possible. Now, before we dive into which web builder you should use, first, I want you to figure out the goal of your website. Are you trying to create a portfolio to professionally display your work? Are you trying to have a way to have people get in contact with you online so that they can use your services? Are you trying to build an online store for your business? Whatever your goal may be, you're gonna find a number of different platforms to try and choose building for your website. Some of the big ones that you may be considering and that most people think of right away are going to be things like Wix or Squarespace, Shopify, Webflow, and honestly the list really does go on. While I do enjoy using a few of these platforms for different projects based on certain niche ideas or something like that, I'd say that 90% of the time I end up using this tried and true platform that you've probably already heard about, which of course is WordPress. Now, in my experience as a web designer for the past five years or so, WordPress is hands down the best platform to use for building websites. It gives you absolute control over the visual looks and the functionality at the same time. You can create completely customized and unique websites while at the same time picking from millions of different Different plugins to add functionality to your website. WordPress is quite literally the largest web building platform or CMS in existence to this day. I think around 43% of all of the websites on the internet use WordPress to this day. You can even Google what big companies use WordPress and you would definitely be surprised. But what is WordPress? It's basically just a software that you use to build websites and publish them live on the internet. A more technical term for it would be a CMS or a content management system, which basically just means that it's a software that helps you manage the content on your website. Before WordPress, you would have to hire a developer to code your website. But nowadays, with WordPress, you can just build websites without having any knowledge of coding whatsoever. And this is why people use it. Now, the most important thing that you need to know about WordPress is that it's completely free. All you have to do is download it onto your website and then you can start building whatever you want. So what can you do with WordPress? Well, WordPress created a visual way to build websites that's a lot more fun and easy to understand. The biggest plus of using WordPress would be the ability to build any kind of website that you need. You have endless amounts of customization with templates and blocks and plugins that make it super easy to manage all of the content that's displayed on your website and make it look really cool. I'll be showing you guys how to do all of this in this series to make whatever kind of website that you might need. When you install WordPress, you instantly have access to countless plugins that you can install onto your website to increase its functionality. Similar to apps on a smartphone, downloading plugins on your website allows you to unlock new features that you can provide. With plugins, you can also add blog functionalities to your website, as well as online stores, and you can add booking features and all sorts of different types of capabilities. The possibilities really are endless. There's pretty much a plugin for everything nowadays. The fact that you can download one single piece of software and then immediately have access to all of these millions of possibilities when building your website completely for free is absolutely incredible. So you might be wondering, well, that's great, Levi, but how do I get started with WordPress to build my website? And that's a great question. Now that you know why WordPress is the best platform to build your website on, go ahead and check out the next video in this series to learn two things that you need to get WordPress installed for free onto your new website. I hope to see you guys there.